girls from across the Nigeria's six geopolitical zones gathered in the capital city of Abuja, representing their regions for the National Girls in ICT competition. As part of this remarkable journey, the girls embarked on an inspiring study tour designed to spark their enthusiasm for digital technology and connect them with accomplished women in various um, organizations to help them envision careers in technology. The Federal Ministry of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy, as the initiator of this competition, set up a tour to highlight the work of the key agencies that play a transformative role in the te Nigeria's technology ecosystem. The girls visited the Nigeria Korea Smart School, a hub for digital learning and innovation. Welcome to Nigeria Korea Model School Studio Broadcasting Room. We'll be showing you how most of our videos are edited and taken to classrooms where it can be transmitted. As you can see here, this is known as the chroma key system. It is used for video production and changes the background of images and video as you can see here. We use here for presentation, inter-class competitions, even field trip stuff, we use it to produce our videos. The axial skeleton consists of the skull, the rib cage, and the vertebral column. Uh, the toy is a good one, um, especially as the emphasis is on the girl child on technology. It's an ICT program, and um, basically, the school, as you have been asked by Coca to come and visit us, is ICT based. From the toy, they'll be able to practicalize whatever it is that they've been hearing, and that would be a long way to enhance their knowledge as regards ICT. They then experienced an advanced operations in Natcomsat, experiencing the antenna farm and the satellite monitoring and communication station, gaining insights on how satellite technology drives national connectivity. Here, we are dealing with three bands of internet services. Number one, we have KH band, say it everyone. KH band. Number two, we have KU band. And number three, we have C-band. C -band. So today you were able to know the type of bands that we have in the satellite industry. Can you please repeat it and let me know? The KH band, the KU band, and C-band. Please don't forget, it's very important for you. Their journey continued to the Nigerian Communications Commission Museum, where they explored the evolution of analog to digital technology, witnessing the milestones that paved way for the Nigeria's digital transformation. This is called the card phone, okay? This particular technology used to be installed in commercial uh, environments like the market, like the park, where people will have to queue to take turns to make their calls. In other words, you need to have a card like your ATM card. So once it's your turn, you slot in your card, dial and then make your call, all right? So meaning that those spirits, you, it can take you a whole day in attempt to make a call. And at the end of the day, if night come in a place like Lagos where you have population, you may end up being on the queue and going back without making call. Okay, but now we all have a system in our hands. We can make calls as we wish. So you can see the trends, how difficult, how bogus to move those things compared to the digital aspect. Finally, they toured the data centers of Galaxy Backbone, learning about the sophisticated data management system that supports the Nigeria's digital infrastructure. They welcome to Galaxy Backbone Network Operations Center. Galaxy Backbone is a government agency under the Ministry of Communication and Digital Economy. Uh, Galaxy Backbone provides ICT services to federal government agencies and parastatals around the country. So um, at the Network Operation Center, we monitor all network services and provide support to engineers that are on field and also help customers resolve problems when they don't have access to their information or to the internet. This tour provided more than just a technical knowledge, but also sparks the enthusiasm of these girls to aspire and start a career in technology. It followed their dreams, showing them that a future in technology is within their reach and fostering their belief that they too can become the trailblazers and innovators of tomorrow. This year's National Girls in ICT competition was nothing short of inspiring. 
Young girls from all across cis geopolitical zones in Nigeria, filled with excitement and determination, stepped up to showcase projects that are as bold as they are innovative, from agri-tech to climate action and civic engagement, aimed at solving problems in their communities and protecting the world they are set to inherit. These futures in our app uses technology to make private taxis safer, driver verification, Users can scan QR code to confirm that a driver has been verified with security agencies. Optional trip tracking features. To use the app Navely, you capture a video or picture of the incident and submit it through the app or via SMS using SMPP. This app has an ambiguity function which protects the privacy of the users in terms of crime. For our serviceable, obtainable market, our goal is to help 1 million app users dispose of their waste within the next five years. For our competitors, we have two main categories. That are the traditional waste collectors and startups that are digitizing waste collection. But what we are different is that we are a hyper-local focus, which means we are trying to help 13 million people in Kano dispose their waste properly. We are also taking a community-driven approach towards waste management and are focused on creating educational context on the awareness of proper waste management practices. These girls are thinking bigger and acting even bigger. Each presentation wasn't just a project, it was a story, a vision of what's possible when young minds are empowered and given the space to dream and create. The passion and talent on that stage were proof that with the right support, these girls are ready to become the tech leaders and change makers of tomorrow. What stood out for us the most is the research part, where we are moving around the society and assessing the problems in our society. Our project is a smart city that is built to make urban life more efficient with the use of artificial intelligence and technology. This competition wasn't just an event, it was a celebration of potential, a glimpse into a future where girls lead the way in tech and innovation. And that more than anything reminds us why investing in their growth and education matters. Can we get a resounding applause for the team that has come overall first in this competition? A round of applause for Team Echo Cano from Northwest. Thank you to the Ministry of Communication, Innovation and Digital Economy. You are amazing and for an amazing year for us. Thank you.